Understanding, tickled pink, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the exciting world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're diving into a colorful and expressive phrase, tickled pink. This phrase has a unique charm and is widely used in English-speaking cultures. Let's unravel its meaning and usage together. Tickled pink is an idiom that means being extremely pleased or delighted about something. When someone is tickled pink, they are experiencing a high level of happiness or satisfaction. It's important to note that this phrase is used in informal contexts and often conveys a sense of playful joy. The origin of tickled pink is quite fascinating. It combines the word tickled which means to feel a tingling or light sensation, often associated with laughter and joy, with the color pink, often linked to health and vitality. The phrase emerged in the early 20th century and quickly gained popularity as a way to express delight in a colorful and vivid manner. To understand how to use tickled pink in everyday conversation, let's look at some examples. One. I was tickled pink when I received the invitation to the party. This shows personal delight about receiving an invitation. 2. She was tickled pink to see her grandchildren. Here, it's used to express joy in seeing loved ones. 3. They were tickled pink with the success of their new business. This illustrates satisfaction and happiness with a successful venture. While Tickled pink is a positive phrase, it's crucial to use it in the right context. It's inappropriate for serious or formal situations. Also, the phrase should not be confused with being literally tickled, as it's a metaphorical expression of joy. There are variations like tickled to death or tickled to bits, which also convey a sense of great pleasure. But tickled pink remains the most vivid and commonly used version. We hope you're now tickled pink with your new understanding of this delightful English phrase. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about expression, culture, and history. Stay tuned for more interesting explorations into the world of English. Happy learning and see you in the next video.